So let's imagine that we have an inclined plane uh, of angle beta, and we have an object that we launch downwards at speed v naught. Let's say that the distance along the inclined plane is x naught, and at the bottom of the inclined plane, there's uh, another object of the same mass, and but there's friction on this surface, so whatever speed uh, this object sticks to this object and they move together and then eventually friction slows them down and they travel a certain distance we want to find that distance so we're looking for uh, the distance we might call x and uh, so we have um, the total energy here which is uh, the well it's an unknown mass times g times the height which is x naught sine of beta, so that's the gravitational potential energy, plus we also have a kinetic energy, unknown mass divided by 2 times v naught squared, that's the total energy of the system, uh, and then at the bottom of the inclined plane, the object ends up with a speed given by that conservation of energy equation, so the speed at the bottom is um, uh, v naught squared plus uh, 2g x naught sine of beta square root and the reason why we want that speed is because we now apply momentum conservation in the collision so we have the unknown mass times this speed uh, as the momentum before the collision and then after the collision we have um, they have the same mass, we don't know what that is, but it's just two times that unknown, times some final speed, the F post-collision speed. And so that speed after the collision is um, V naught squared plus two G X naught sine of beta square root over two. And so uh, there's some kinetic energy, which is one half times two M times that speed squared, which is v naught squared plus 2g x naught sine of beta divided by 4. So we can simplify that, but that ends up being um, the energy that gets dissipated due to friction. So we have coefficient of friction times uh, all the mass, which is 2m times g, right? This is the normal force on the horizontal surface times the unknown x. So we can solve for x, and x ends up being, right, the twos here cancel, we have a factor of four here, the, the mass will cancel, so this will disappear. Uh, sorry, uh, we still have that factor of two there, so this looks like it becomes an eight. So we have a v naught squared plus two g x naught sine of beta. Uh, if I did that right, and we'll divide it by two, we get a factor of eight. Um, I still have, uh, g and mu, so it's 8 uh, mu g, and that should be the distance the object travels on the horizontal surface.